Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's, who, as you can see, are sitting on 102 points. So far clear of our League 2 opposition that, ladies and gentlemen, next year we will definitely, even if we lose the rest of our League 2 games, be playing in League 1 against, wait for it, the team that used to be us, MK Scum. I'm sorry to fans of Milton Keynes, but you did steal our team. Today we're going to uh, answer some more questions asked by the students of Norfolk Academy who donated the Project for Awesome. Thank you for donating, students of Norfolk Academy. I am excited to answer your questions. The first one's a very good one. Meredith, can you repeat it for me? Do I write books I want to read? Do I write, write books that I want to write? Or do I write books other people would want me to write? Um, that's a really interesting question, and it gets to like the, the whole issue of like what the real audience for, for a book is. Get there, you bombo! Yeah! Um, and I, I guess the answer for me is like a mix um, that like to me those aren't mutually exclusive, and that I try to um, to serve multiple masters. I guess I want to write a I, you know I, I I need to enjoy writing on some level um, in order to to do it. Uh, in order to do to do lots of it, um, but I also um, I also I also need to be making m making something as a as a gift for people in order uh, for it to be fulfilling and in order for it to work. So like I have to have an audience in mind um, when I'm writing, at least when I'm writing for an audience, and then I have to be, you know, I I, I don't necessarily like, you know, yeah, I I, I have to be writing for someone. Um, or else it doesn't feel like it's working to me. So that's, I guess that's the best answer I have. I don't know. That's a really interesting question, though, and I think a really complicated one. What's my next question, Meredith? Where did DFTBA originate? So my friend Katie Els, who, by the way, is getting married in just a few months. Congratulations to Katie. Um, my friend Katie Els and I were in Chicago, and we were at a bar. I think it's, it's called the Hooten Bar. It's in Lincoln Square. It's a uh, German pub. Lincoln Square is the German neighborhood in Chicago. And... Um, I saw that she had, as I recall, I saw that she had written on her hand DFTBA, and I said, what's that stand for? And she said, oh, it's to remind me to not forget to be awesome. And then I said in a, in a Nerdfighter, in, a, in an early Vlogbrothers video, I said, like it says on my friend Katie's arm, don't forget to be awesome. And that was the beginning of DFTBA. Essentially, I owe it all to Katie, um, who I'm sure wishes desperately that she had copyrighted that phrase. But, you know... <laughs> so it goes. Um, but yeah, so it, that's where DFTBA came from. Next question. One person living or dead, if I could have dinner with them, who would it be? It's a good question. Mm. Mm. Jesus? Muhammad? I don't know. It's tough. It'd be... Somebody, some major world religion, r religious leader, just so that I could come back with both some wisdom and some answers um, uh, about uh, about intent. Um, it'd be fun to have. It'd be fun to have dinner with. I mean, but among, I don't know among like living people who I don't know. I don't know. I kind of I quite like having dinner with my my wife and children. Um, yeah, I don't know. My grandmother. Who's, who's since died, or my grandfather, maybe? Okay, what's the next question? How do I come up for ideas for my characters? Um, well, like, um, sometimes I borrow, I, I do definitely borrow a lot from, from my friends, um, or from, from myself, from my own experience at times, but, um, you know, also, also a lot of times I want my characters to um, kind of be living through uh, experiences that, you know, kind of bring form to ideas that are important in the book. And so, oh, get it! Oh, cleared off the line for a second time. This is getting a little frustrating, Heart Lapool. You're not even a real place! Oh, that was almost a beautiful goal. It's not even Heart Lapool. As if that's a place. Yeah! Bamba! <sighs> Did I say I was going to be nice to Heart Lapool? I did. I said I was going to be nice to them and not. Mm. Now I feel bad. I said that I wasn't. Apparently Meredith says that I said right before we started filming that I was not going to be mean to Hart Lapool. And then I didn't even last through the entire first half before my first insult to Hart Lapool. Um, Hart Lapool. 
Come on. By the way, did you see that great tackle from Girls Just Want to Have Funding Through? That guy has had a great game and in general is proving himself to be a very worthy center back for the Wimbley Womblies. Um, I'm, I have great hopes for him for the future. Plus, he's a big, strong, strapping, bald man. What was the, I'm sorry, what's going on? What is the question? Ideas for my characters. Yeah, so I guess it's a mix of like, um, you know, sort of personal experiences and, and things that I've seen in other people and then um, thinking about like what I want the book to be about, what I want the experiences of the book to be about. So, uh, yeah. Like, oh, get it, get it, get it, it has to be! And somehow it isn't? It's frustrating. It's frustrating, man. I don't know who's, I don't actually know who's starting up front. It looks like it's Green Eggs and Sheringham and he just has in hand, he just has in hand the stuff today. Meredith, you've got it. There's no other way you can say it. I mean, it's just been a disappointing first half performance from the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys, who find that they can't even compete with lowly Hartlepool. Hartlepool, where um, the youth unemployment rate is a mere 82%. Hartlepool. Oh, boy. Hartlepool. Like, how can we not be winning? I guess it's because we're starting uh, these boots were made for Strutton and Green Eggs and Sheringham. It's time to make some substitutions. Less more. More like more tired. Can we bring in maybe P. Sweeney? And then let's get, let's get, you know what this game needs. It needs some John Greens. All right, there we go. You know, I don't know if you know this, Meredith, but professional football managers often make three substitutions at halftime as well. It's not just, it's not just me. It's a very common strategy. Just use all of them. That way, if you get an injury, you only play with 10 players, which makes it more exciting. What's my next question? How does it feel to have one of your books made into a movie? I mean, I think it depends on the movie and the experience because I know a lot of my friends have had books made into movies and it was sort of terrible um, because they felt like, you know, the people who made it didn't honor their, their books and um, it was just brutally painful. My experience has been amazing and wonderful. Like that goal from John Green! Oh, you beauty! He goes over to the White House, who's responsible for that beautiful cross. But look, John Green with the finish. Oh, he's big, he's tough, he has a ginger puff. Other John Green, other John Green. Just a great, I mean, he just, he gets open. And finally, the stalwart Hartlepool defense folds. And we have made the first breach of their dam of what I hope shall be many. Context is everything. What, what's my next question, Meredith, or did I answer the last one? I don't even know. I'm so excited about that goal. I did, okay, good, what's next? Um, did the actors cast align with how I pictured them? Well, you know, like when I, just, when I think about like what, what matters to me about Hazel and Gush, I don't think about eye color or hair co or Isaac. I don't think about hair color or eye color or anything like that, like, or, or, or even like, you know, ethnicity. Like I think about, um, who they are as, as people, or at least in my mind as people. You know, I think about um, Gussie's sort of performative, over-the-top um, Mr. Charmboat personality, and then sort of later in the novel, his, his emerging weakness, his frustrations, his desire to be, um, to be remembered, to live a big, big life. We can't give up a goal to Hartlepool. Um, I, I want to apologize to supporters of Hartlepool. Um, and to citizens of that place, should it exist. Um, I don't, I'm just, sometimes I get angry. I'm a competitive person. Speaking of competitive, there's Bald John Green in the box. Bald John Green! He always does the robot. Bald John Green, John Green. He gives it all for the team. Upon his mustache, we're keen. Bald John Green, John Green. He loves to finish with the head. I've just noticed that. It's his favorite way to finish. Such a finisher. Such an inspiration. So, yeah, I don't think about characters that way exactly. I, I, um, and I never really have... Oh, God. Oh, Meredith, Meredith, Meredith. Look who's one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. Yeah, 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 bomba. Is it my birthday? Yeah, 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 bomba. Just scored a goal. Just scored a goal. Just scored a goal. Yeah, yeah, bomba. I mean, is it Christmas? Seriously. 
because it looked like we were going to have a nil-nil draw to Hartlepool and I was going to emerge from this game very frustrated. But instead, the three greatest strikers in AFC Wimbledon, Wimbley Wombly history, have all scored today. I mean, it's a, oh, it's just a cornucopia of goals. Did I use that word correctly? Um, she doesn't know. Neither do I. Hopefully neither do any of the viewers. Um, unnecessary slide tackle. Look at John Green. He never gives up. He's a beautiful ginger. Uh, do I have a, what's the next question? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me answer that first question first. Yes. Yes. The, I mean, when they were cast, like, um, did they look like I pictured them? Uh, I, I, I don't think I pictured the characters in that way, like I said. But, like, when they were cast, because I'd seen their auditions, I knew that they were right. Like, I, I was extremely happy with the casting. And, like, oh, it has to be? Oh. What are you thinking? Other John Green? Oh, Walmart phone. Uh, founder Sam Walton's coming off for Hartlepool. Um, yeah, I uh, yeah, I just I I, I I and I think when people see the movie, they're gonna they're gonna know that that it was right. Like I think they're gonna agree with me. Not everybody, but I think almost everybody's gonna be like, "Wow, they are amazing!" Because all of the all three of them, Hazel, Isaac, and Gus, they're just they're just phenomenal. They give such amazing performances. What's next, Meredith? Oh, when I'm getting started on YouTube, how do you attract subscribers? I, I mean, the truth is that I don't know because I haven't, you know, like, I haven't gotten started on YouTube since. Get it! Oh! 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 oh. It's so beautiful. Ball, John Green, John Green. He gives it all for the team. Did you see that handball? Upon his mustache, we're keen. Hartlepool tried to hand the ball, but, but, but Bald John Green what, couldn't be stopped. Bald John Green, John Green. Oh, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. John Green to John Green. Nothing like a little John Green on John Green action to lead to our fourth goal in a single half of football. There's still eight minutes to play. Are we going to get another? Are we going to get another? I feel bad now about all the things I said about Hartlepool because it's just, they're just hardworking young footballers desperately trying to play a far superior side in the Wimbley Womblies. I mean, just, there's just no doubt about it. We are, we're physically better. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's try a different kind of goal. Let's try a different kind of, oh, different kind of goals never work. Is there any, are there any more questions, Meredith? All right, ask me more. My opinion of the recent Oscar nominations, I mean, you know, I kind of talked about this in my Golden Globes episode, but I thought 12 Years a Slave was overwhelmingly the best movie of the year. Um, I didn't think there was any particularly good competition for it even. And I think, oh yes, we've emerged victorious. Goals from John Green, John Green, yeah, 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 bomba. And John Green, what a fantastic game versus Hartlepool. It started out, you know, the first half, maybe those of you who, maybe people, maybe people stopped watching at the end of the first half. They thought this is going to be another boring nil-nil draw. Little did they know that the beautiful mustachioed man, his beautiful ginger puffed husband, and our great left winger, ya, 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 bomba, would all score. Congratulations to the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys. My condolences to the hardworking men and women of Hartlepool. Best wishes.